Shalom, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Wakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the others that rule well. And peace and blessings to you, brothers out there that's kicking his words, sincerity and truth. You know, we're coming into some uh, serious times. Um, Jacob's tr uh, trouble is around the corner. And, you know, if you're paying attention, and I know you brothers are, you know, um, we know what time it is, man. It's going to be very serious out here. It's going to be shortage of food, uh, pestilence. It's going to be at all time high. Um, actually, a brother from uh, the elder, Slakia from uh, uh, Las Vegas, did a sit down on how uh, STDs, um, the number of STDs has, has spiked uh, over the last years, man. I think it was uh, syphilis, gonorrhea, and things of that nature. You know, it's at, at an all time high. And we're going to be seeing more and more of these things, man. You know, what's keeping this place afloat is the uh, the petrodollar. And we know that the petrodollar is, is waning in its power. You have all these other countries that are are, are, are rising up against America, you know, um, and really trying to move away from uh, America's uh, grip that it has uh, on the world, economically speaking, with the uh, petrodollar. And so we're going to start seeing, we're, we're going to see, um, you know, this place crumble. And we, it's happening before our eyes, you know, what, in uh, 2008, you know, there was a recession going on because of the uh, housing market. And there was a, uh, a small, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a small uh, a boost in, in uh, the, uh, for lack of a better term, of a uh, rebound. That's what I'm looking for. It was a small rebound. Um you know, in the housing market. But now you have articles saying that the, the housing market is crashing. Uh, another bubble that isn't spoken about is the um, the uh, school uh, student loan uh, bubble that's uh, about to pop. So, that's, you know, this place is on its way out, man. And, and not to mention uh, what's happening uh, in the news contemporarily. You've seen a lot, a lot, a, a lot uh, more um, racial uh, tension arising. So we know that, uh, you know, Matthew the twenty-fourth chapter is coming into play. Um, Second Acts is the fifteenth uh, chapter is coming to play, and also we know that our persecution is is, is about to come. Um, it's very important that we understand that the Most High is going to defend us. However, man, you know. And, and trust in him and his way and trust in uh, his covering that he has on us and not necessarily what we can do carnally, but trust in the spirit of uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So I wanted to get into a couple of uh, scriptures going into that topic. This trusting in the uh, trusting and believing that the Most High has our has our back. We know it's going to get bad out here, you know, that's already prescribed, but it's also uh, described in the scriptures that his servants that have been toiling. You know, in, in his work and being faithful, they are going to be covered. You see, and we have to believe that. You know, as this uh, this place begins to uh, deteriorate right before our eyes. You see, so this is a uh, Proverbs three and five, and this is actually one of my favorite scriptures. Uh, it says, uh, "Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding." In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thy own eyes, fear ye how and depart from evil. That's right, this thing, this thing of ours isn't about being a tough guy or about being, uh, you know, uh, super intelligent. That's going to get you out of, you know, these situations that are, 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 are to come. But ultimately, the will of Yahweh is believing in the will of Yahweh by seeing Yahweh shot and believing in his word. Now, the Most High is going to give us certain attributes that we, we we are to utilize, you know what I'm saying, to get out of uh, certain scenarios and predicaments. But the underlying, um, you know, uh, the underlying uh, truth that we have to remember is that the Most High is going to defend us, not us. You see, so that's what we should be focusing on. What is the Yahweh uh, Shem uh, uh, covering and not what we can do cornerly, you see? You know, hey, you got some brothers out there that are into martial arts. Well, that that might not help you in that day. You got brothers that that are uh, have uh, that are very articulate. You know, and, and able to diffuse situations of that nature. That might not help you in that day, man. 
but believing in and trusting in, in the will of the Heavenly Father and the Spirit, which is intangible, you see, it's hard to grasp. That's going to get you out of these these situations, man. Let's go to uh, Jeremiah. Let me get this from Jeremiah for you, brothers. Uh, it was a Jeremiah 9. And, uh, yeah, it's Jeremiah 9, 20, and 23. Now, this is Jeremiah 9 and 23. Thus said Yehovah, let not the man, uh, it's like it. Thus said Yehovah, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. That's right, you know, you got a lot of people out there that want to, uh, uh, prep, you know, save up food and things of nature, which I'm not saying that you can't, you know, and, you know that wouldn't that, that wouldn't be unprudent, but that that's not gonna save you in this day, man. You know, you might have resources to where you could get a bunker and things of that nature. You might be laying that up for somebody else. You see, uh, but let him that glorieth. Glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me that I am Yahweh who exercises exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, said Yahweh. That's right. So we glory, glory, uh, glorify, we put the glory, and that we know the, uh, the will of the Heavenly Father. We know. Uh, the Heavenly Father, which his name is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, uh, in the Paleo Hebrew, that that means um, interpreting that means uh, basically Lord, the Lord, He is, you see, or He exists in the name by Yeshua in the name uh, of Yahweh Shah, which means He delivers who the world calls Jesus. We should glory in the fact that we understand these scriptures. And we understand the will of the Heavenly Father, not in what we could do on this earth, man. Not in what we know. Anything that we know and we have was given to us by the Heavenly Father. So, where is boasting? Where is bragging? You see? We have to totally trust in the Heavenly Father in order for, in order to get out of, you know, the situation that we in. And, and, and it's a good thing that we're catching hell now. You know, and we're depending on the Heavenly Father now. You know, because we're exercising our faith. You got people in the world, they're not, they, they don't, they ain't called on the Heavenly Father, man. They're not thinking about the Lord. You see? So when when, when time hits, you think people are going to have faith in the Heavenly Father? You're going to have people out there cursing the Heavenly Father. They've been in church for 20 some years. Lord, I've been serving for all this time. You're going to let this happen to me? I ain't no God. Denouncing the Most High and everything, man. All oh, their concept of God, excuse me. But we, you know, we've been toiling in this work, going out there in the highways and byways, man, being treated as the the, uh, the filth of the earth, man. Uh, you know, scoffers laughing at us, man. We're seen as the bum camp, the, the bum camp. That's a good thing, man, because why? We're exercising faith, you see. But these people in the world, man, they're going to depend on these these carnal, the, the carnal blessings, you know, and that's not going to be, uh, you know, any help to them, man. You see, so it's very important, man, that we that that, that we uh, understand the blessing that we have, you know, which is this faith. This faith is a blessing, man. The understanding of these scriptures is a blessing. You see, and not be consumed with, you know, uh, what we could do, or pride. You know, pride is, it hasn't got our people anywhere, man. You see what I'm saying? It's all about what the Heavenly Father, you know, it could, it's going to bless us with in that day. You see? So let's get this in a... Let's get this in Ecclesiastes. The ninth chapter. Now, this is Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. I return and I saw under the sun under the sun that the race is not not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to the uh, to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happeneth happeneth to all to them all. 
That's right. So with that understanding, you have to fear the Heavenly Father, man. You see? And with that fear, that fear is the beginning of knowledge, man. With that fear that galvanizes you to, to, to serve Him, man. You know? It gives you incentive to serve Him. You know? Being a brother. Going out there on highways, byways, and teaching. Being consistent with your videos. You know? Why is that? Because you want that covering in that day. You see? That's important, man. You know? Now, let's get this in uh, second address. Let's get this in second address. Uh, two and, two, and 20. And, and I start at 24, man. Because the Most High is going to uh, protect his servants in a day of calamity. You see? All these other people, you know, they're going to be running running around with it, with, it, with it like a chicken with, with his head cut off. You know, uh, seeking all types of, 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 of comfort, you know, doing all types of drugs or, 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 or things that are not even drugs, just to cope. You have more people out there that's, that's sniffing, you know, paint and things of that nature, man, just trying to escape, man. You know, all types of madness. People going to be having random sex to, to, to uh, release frustration, you know, all types of madness. You have people that that are gonna turn to to ancient philosophies, cutting themselves, all types of things, man. We're gonna see some wild things when when this place fall down. You see, but wisdom and knowledge with the stability of our time, man, which we're gonna get after this. So this is again, this is Second Ezra uh, two in uh twenty four. A buy still, O my people, and take thy rest, for thy quietness shall come. Nourish thy children, O oh, thy uh, good uh, nurse. Uh, establish their feet. As for thy servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from a among thy, uh, thy number. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness, heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but there, thou shall be merry and have abundance. So not only are we going to be merry, but we're going to have abundance. We're going we're gonna to eat in that day, brothers. The Most High is going to feed us. Best believe. The Most High is, is making a way to where, you know, communication amongst the, the, the body is getting uh, more and more established. You see, order is getting more and more established, man. We have to understand that the Most High is setting up something. He's setting up a government. And believe it. Trust and believe that, man. When it's time for us to move, the Most High is going to put the spirit on us to move. The Most High is going to give us understanding to move, man. But it's very important that we are locked in and not being stubborn, not hard in our hearts like in the day of provocation, man. But holding fast to that faith. You see, it's not a coincidence that more and more brothers are starting to see chariots and things of that nature, man. The Most High is, is, is speaking to us, you know, via the, that, uh, these miracles that he's shown us. You see? So it's very important that we hold fast to this faith and also grow as time gets worse, uh, you know, out here in the world. That we are growing in the spirit, man, so we could all be on, on one accord, you know, so we could all have that cover. It's very important. You know, the heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be be able able to do nothing against thee, said Yahweh. That's right, so the heathen are going to see us eating in that day, man. They're going to be envious, chiefly the so-called white man, but he's not going to be able to do anything to us. Why is that? Because Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh is going to give us that covering. You, we, it's very important that we believe that, brothers. You know, my hand shall cover thee so that thy children shall, shall not see hell. <laughs> Let's read that again. Uh, verse 29, my hand shall cover thee so that thy children shall, shall not see hell. Brothers out there with children, man, you know. You know, you might be frustrated and, and demons might attack you. And, you know, um, I said, man, most, you know, my, the most I might allow the so-called white man to get a hold of my children. Uh, you know, this, this, and that, which is true. 
you know, we, hey, we understand the fear of the Heavenly Father. But according to the scripture, man, if you're doing the work, the most high is not going to allow your children to see hell. You see, there's going to be covering not only on you, but your whole family. The most high is fair, man. The most high is not going to just have you out there serving, you know, on the highways and byways, you know, toiling consistently. You doing your work consistently. He's not going to bless you. You know, our, our most high, uh, our power is about balance. You see what I'm saying? And you have to believe that. Trust and believe that. A lot of times we focus on, you know, the, uh, the, the uh, not only you say negative, but the, uh, the violent aspect of the Heavenly Father. But the most high blessing us too, brothers. You know, or you know what, not violent, but the stern. That's that's a better word. Aspect of Yahweh by Shem Yahusha, but we don't we don't believe we don't I don't want to say believe, but we don't uh, uh, you know bring out the 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 loving side of Yahweh by Shem Yahusha. Man, the Most High love us, man. He want to give us this knowledge if he didn't. You see, we're not toiling, for, you know, just just to be broken down and beat down. We're to, we're toiling to be built up in the spirit. You see, for this day of provocation. If you look up that word provocation, provocation goes back to the word provoke. That word provoke means challenge, and it's going to be very challenging in that day, man. You see, that's why we're fasting more. That's, you know, that's why we're getting into the herbs. You know, that's why brothers are being more conscious about their diet. Why is that? Because when that time hits, man, we've been cutting off our flesh. You see, we know we we, we know how fish to go without. We've done a, a, a day of uh, atonement. No drinking, no water. You see, we understand uh, the times that are coming, man. But these people in, in the world, they don't understand the times, man. You see, that alone should, 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 should uh, you know, induce you to praise you. How about you, man? What's up, man? You see, we understand what is coming, man. That's why we're able to, uh, and, and we're able to prepare. These people in the world don't have that luxury. They, they, they hear the words, man, and they and they, <laughs> they fan their hand, their hand at it, man. You see? So that's going to be their destruction. But for us, that's going to be our covering. So, hey, call on your whole body, shimmy, how shot. But back to the scripture, Salaki. So like uh, be joyful, O thou mother, with thy children, for I will deliver thee, said Yahweh. Uh, remember thy children that sleep, for I will bring them out of the sides of the earth, and show, well, the, really the point was in 30, man. It says, be joyful of thy mother with thy children, for I will deliver thee, said Yahweh. The Most High is going to deliver not only uh, uh, our children, but the, the women that, that have been uh, faithful too. You know, whether or not she has a husband or not, man. You, you, there's going to be women out there that are believers that are going to, that, that are going to uh, be delivering that day too, man. You see? And that's, you know, man, that's a beautiful thing, man. Okay? Let's get back to the scriptures, though. Uh, let me put this out for you, bros. This is Isaiah. Uh, 30, 30, 30, uh, 3. Isaiah 33, and I started uh, verse 6. Which we know the scripture, right? Now, this is Isaiah 33, 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the of, of Yahweh is his treasure. We, we just went into that fear and how, you know, there's gonna be advantageous, advantageous for those for those men that are, that are totally in the truth, man. That understand the fearfulness of the heavenly Father. We just read, we, we just brought that out, man. That was the spirit. Behold, their uh, the valiant value ones shall. Cry without the ambassadors of peace shall weep bitterly. The highways shall lay lay waste. The warfare man ceaseth. He he hath uh, broken the covenant. He hath despised the cities. He regardeth no man. That's right, man. So when that time come, there's not gonna be any uh, 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 traveling to and fro. It says the, the wayfaring man shall cease cease uh, ceaseth. The, the highways are going to be a uh, total lockdown. It's going to be martial law right here, man. You know? 
and that that son of perdition is going to show his horns. The earth mourneth and languisheth. Lebanon is ashamed and hewed down. Sharon is like a wilderness, and Bashan and Kamel shake off their uh, their their fruits. And all these are cities in in, uh, in, in, um, in Israel, man. And it's just showing you how when that time come, you know, the nation of Israel, because Israel is a, pe a, a people before a place. Man, our people, two thirds of our people, are gonna be destroyed. You see, the so-called white man is going to have his way with, and these heathens are going to have their way with our people, man. But we know, we know our enemy. We know, we know who the enemies is, man. And it's, it's, it's the world against us, man. We're going to move accordingly and when that time comes. You see, we're going to know to be second respect. You don't have people out there that's going to be going to these white people's neighborhoods and trying to get help, man. And the so-called white man, which eat them, eat them. They're going to be blowing, blowing Jake away. Like what happened in Hurricane Katrina. You see? Uh, um, back in 1994, when the uh, the riots were going on after the... Uh, what verdict was that? The Rodney King verdict. I remember watching that. I was six years old. I was, you know? There you go. It... When Jake was trying to go to these uh, convenience stores and loot, you had those Koreans, the South Koreans, posted up with guns, man, ready to shoot. You see? All that's coming back in a big way, man. Hell, holy hell is about to uh, break loose for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But the elect out of those uh, said groups are going to be fine, man. You see? Now will I rise, said Yahweh. Now will I exalt. Now will I be exalted. Now will I lift up myself. Ye shall conceive chafes, uh, chafes, chafes. Uh, he shall bring forth stubble. Your breath as fire shall devour you. And the people shall be as the burning of limb. As thrones cut, uh, thrones cut up uh, shall they be burnt in the fire. Hear ye uh, that are far off what I have done, and ye that are near acknowledge my might. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Filthiness hath surprised the hypocrites. All these guys out there that were in the truth that fell out, you know, this, that, that said that, you know, it's all about love or it's all about, well, yes, yeah, you got Mac 10. He, he's trying to get his land together, you see. Two, three years ago, he was gun ho about the truth. You know, well, five years ago, you know, he was gun ho about the truth, man. You know, look at that word hypocrite, it means an actor. So, all these guys that were acting, you know, and playing tough and things of that nature, man, that fell out the truth, or, you know, on Instagram, uh, uh, talking about themselves. When that time he hit, man, they're going to be very, very, very surprised, man. You see, and fearful because they know that, that judgment is coming to them. Judgment is not. You see? Uh, let's see here. Who uh, who among, among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who amongst us shall uh, dwell with ever, everlasting burning? He that walketh righteously and speaketh upright, uprightly, he that despises the gang of oppressions, that sh uh, that shaketh his hand from holding of bri bribes, that stopped his ears from hearing of blood, and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil, he he shall draw on high. His place of defense shall uh, shall be the min minutions of rocks. Bread shall be given unto him. His water shall be sure. So the, the people who hold fast to their integrity didn't pollute the uh, the word of the true power for 50 Lucas sake. You see, those that, 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 that held fast to, to, to the true understanding of the, of, of the word and didn't compromise when they got, you know, hard. You know, case in point, people want to call us rapists and things of that nature, you know. That, that, that could have made people fall, or that has made people fall out. I question, you know what I'm saying, the authority of the apostles. You see? 
but those that have hold fast to, you know, what I'm saying, uh, you know, as I once said, the the the, the uh, understanding of the scriptures, the Most High is gonna feed them in that day, man, and we have to believe that. We have to believe that if we hold fast to our integrity, that the Most High is gonna bless us when that time comes. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be difficult, but it's supposed to be, brothers. You see. But trust and believe that the Most High has our back. I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. The double honor to the apostles and the elders that rule well. And peace and blessings to you, brothers out there that's keeping the word. Sincerely, also in truth. Shalom.